What is up guys, Cosmic Contender here for the next part on the RTS tutorial. Last time we had our units moving around the screen. So now we want to draw a little select thing. We aren't currently going to select, but we're going to uh, just draw that box to select. Um, I'm going to reference my code in another project to make sure I don't forget anything. But to start, we're going to add a script to our world scene. Hit create. We're going to add a couple variables. We're going to do dragging is equal to false. And then uh, var drag start is equal to a vector 2.0. And then select rect is equal to rectangle shape 2d dot new all right i didn't mean to open that up okay then we're going to have a function called unhandled input this is uh, a native function to godot that's why it has the underscore and we're going to check if event is input event and we don't want uh we want mouse button and event dot button index index is equal to mouse button left. Oh, we need to make sure to put our colon here. Then we want to check if event dot pressed. And I'm not sure why it's not showing the IntelliSense for press, but I assure you it is available. It's equal to true. We want to set our dragging equal to true. Then drag, go to the next line, drag start equal to event dot position. Okay. After which we want to do else if dragging. We want to set dragging to false. And then we want to queue redraw var drag end is equal to event dot position so this is going to be the the bottom corner uh, like the bottom right corner well it could be also the top left corner depending how you're drawing it it, it could be any corner actually just depends where you drag it from but uh, select rect. We're going to have it extends equals the absolute value of drag end minus drag start. The reason why we do the absolute value is because drag start might be greater, it might be less than the drag end, and so we just want to get the actual just area of the square we go var space is equal to get world 2d dot direct space state then this is going to be our query that we'll use in the future it is absolutely going to do nothing in our code today uh, but that is okay we'll set the groundwork now shape 2d dot new and so what this is going to do in the future is we want to query this shape that we're dragging and see if there's any units within it. And so we're going to check with a collision mask and we'll set it to the layer 2. And then we want to transform and transform 2D and set this to 0 and then drag end plus drag start divided by two and then we need to get out of this if statement and into this one if event is input and it's not going to be button click but our mouse button it's mouse motion and dragging and we want to queue our redraw 
Okay, so we got our um, our handling the input, but this actually does nothing right now. We need to handle our drawing. So we're gonna call the native function to draw within Godot. That's underscore draw. And if dragging, we want to draw rec and we want a rec two. That's a drag start. And we want to get our global mouse position. minus drag start then we need to set a color i'm going to do you can set whatever color but you do color i'm going to okay we'll just do color dot and then you see there's already a bunch of options i'm just going to do aqua because it's very bright it'll be easy to see and then do we want it filled i'm going to say no the next parameter is the width of the line within the thing. So we're going to put two pixels to determine the width. And now we're going to save our scene and we're going to hit play. And we're see so they're going to move to where we start our initial drag. And so they're not selectable yet, but this is what we want for now. Now, if you're not seeing the um the square you want to do show behind parent so i'll show you what happens when you don't do this but you won't actually see it so on our tile map you want to check that show behind parent hit play and there you go all right i hope you guys are enjoying this series uh i saw a lot of traction over the last day for this i really hope you guys are enjoying it please leave a comment and consider subscribing if you want to see more. If you want to see another tutorial of any genre or anything, I will do my best to learn it. Uh, I am working on some potential tutorials for the future. And thank you so much. Have a great day.